Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan. I'm playing uh, this deck. Green, black. Really no bombs, but some pretty good cards like Track Tusk, Murder, Pack Leader. Um, and I am 3-2. I'm out. I will not make the final. But if I do a 4-2, I will improve my rating. I will get a Savannah. Because you get a Savannah for 4-2. And I will do my best. Uh, thanks to everyone who has been supporting me during before the mocks. And uh, thanks to everyone who's been supporting me right now. Uh, I've shouted out a few names before, but I'd like to add Matti Paiola. Thank you, Matti. Juggler. And Angelo Paolucci. Thank you. He is the host of the Pitims podcast, which is a very entertaining podcast. If you like listening to Magic Podcasts, check out Pit Imps. And well, we're still waiting for two games here. XMimX, the pauper celebrity, is still playing. He's 1-1 one, one against Rocco. And we will uh, just wait a couple of more minutes. And then it's time for the final round of this mox. Uh, preliminary final. And I can't make it to the main final. But I can make myself another Savannah. And I want to do that. And there's no way I can expect uh, not to have to uh, play the last match. I, I won't get another walkover. Uh, but... I do want to play the match because if I don't win that match, if I do, if I go two, three, I don't deserve any prize. So I want to win the last. I want to win a fair match in the last round and go three to two at least and have a winning record and win something in a mox final, which I haven't done before. When I when I was six five, I was seven seven places. I was like there was prizes down to one hundred thirty second place. And I was so like 139th or 136th or something like that. Pretty close. We thought the last game was for the prize. But, and I won that. But I didn't get the prize. But this time I know I will be getting the prize. If I make, if I win this last match. So it is important. There's one. XMMX is still playing. This is it then. The moment of truth. XMMX has been eliminated. And I've gotten further than he did. Which surprised me. BBS, who defeated me in the third round, is now 5-0. And Saipo is my opponent. Yes, I would like to play first. No, I'm not mulliganing that. But it is a very, very bad hand. He's here. We're in for fight. I'm gonna cast the rat, it's gonna do nothing. Foil forest? Why play that? Well, uh, that changes things, and now my hand actually got a lot better. Hamlet back. Yeah, what do I do against him? He's probably a lot better in sealed. Uh, I think I need to take out one of the rats here. Or oh, one of the goblins. And I definitely don't want to draw another land now. He's red, green, white, blue, black. No, he's red, green, white. And he plays Torchfiend. I hope he doesn't play Trumpet Blast. 
And I'm now officially flooded. Trying to give the impression I have a blue deck representing a counter spell here. Kite sail. And four damage to me. That's awesome, and I'm gonna play Harbor Bandit next turn, and I hope Pack Leader lives. Uh, the question is, do I block? I doubt it, I want at least one card. I can't really block the Torchfiend. So, uh, I'll just take it. But will he just take seven? Cause rest the show. Ooh, War Clamp Mastiff. That's pretty bad. And the White Ring. But who is gonna block now? I'm just doing seven damage here. Wow. Okay, I'll, I'll still draw the cards first. And the black ring. Um, will be equipped to the harbor bandit. And I'm swinging for seven here, right? And Sands of Delirium is once again not doing much. So how much damage does the Trumpet Blast do? It does 12. I don't think he has Trumpet Blast and something else. He's equipping the Mastiff. For 3-2 Vigilance for Striker that attacks. That is way too slow. Alright, yes, he has to destroy the red ring, of course. But who is blocking the pack leader? Does he have Show of Valor? No, he's tapping out. So who is blocking the pack leader? Uh, well, um, murder, perhaps? Uh, I'll uh, prefer not to show the... Oh, nice. Okay, I'm 1-0 against his rather subpar deck. He did have the white ring. So let's rethink what I have in my sideboard. Uh, Dark Favor, Duress. Could the rest for the artifacts, but I don't really need to do that. He's got to have some flyers. That I might want to plummet. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. I didn't see any flyers, really. Oh, yeah, of course, the kite sail. So bringing in one plummet is not too much. But two is not uh, clear. I, I almost want to take out Sense of Delirium now. I'm so fed up with it, but... Well, it's it's fast creature combat here. And maybe the sand is not the bomb I thought it was in a deck that can't delay anything. So I am not convinced about sands 
taking in both plummets. No, just one plummet. But I have received so many draft victories with sands. Do I want both plummet? Hmm. Maybe. And there we go, I have plummet, so let's see if it performs better than sands this time. Did he splash for Hamlet back Goliath? This feels like a deck you run into the first round in a Swiss draft. But okay, let's not get cocky. He plays his Volving Wilds main phase. I need to draw land, but I'm not desperately in need of land. This is interesting. I think I need to foresee here then. Because the bat still does damage, arguably even more damage later in the game. Or, but if I don't draw land here, the rat will have to do with damage right now. Mr. Sunstriker! And the rats will have to do whatever they do right now. And they also carry the ring, so that's pretty good, but I am in danger, I'm absolutely in danger, I need to reach 5 mana. And there's the white ring. Making a giant lifelink do that I now can't handle. Um, so let's not try to. My only hope now is that he cast Kite Sail and equip it so I can plummet him. <laughs> I think it's far too early to uh, kill the Ravenous Rats. All his fancy colors. And he plays Pillarfield Locks. Well, I could have blocked him there, right? Okay, Trag Tusk is pretty nice. Ah! <laughs> oh shit, I misclicked. Oh my god. That was so stupid. Next turn I block. Wow, that was really bad actually. And I could... Why can I regenerate things that... Well, okay, let's play pack leader now. Still swing. Then Trag Tusk. Pacifism on the pack leader doesn't do much. Take five, but Trag Tusk will uh, sort things out. A land would be swell. Five lives and a card. <laughs> but that card was not the land. <sighs> I 
And how do I deal with the Sunstriker here? I have to dig up murder. And now I'm gonna kill somebody else. Uh, I'm gonna take the Sunstriker and kill Crusader. If I'm allowed, but I'm not allowed because it has double pacifism. And that, of course, is a catastrophe. And I'm still alive. So barely. Kite sail. Uh, so I can do it. Titanic growth. So I can kill that guy with Titanic growth. And I need Titanic growth summit. So I can equip that. But that doesn't work because I need to kill everybody. Yeah, I'm just dead. If he doesn't do anything really funny. And he doesn't equip the kite sail. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, just going through the motions now, doing stupid things that I don't need to do. I should just concede. Okay, 1-1, one, one. and the plummet wasn't very good, was it? So it's... But it did have kite sail, but I didn't see any other flyers. So I am back to the sands plan. I don't want to change the winning thing. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going with the beast tracker. Finding death touch guys and stuff. That's what I'm doing. Okay, the final game, and I made a serious mistake there in the in the fourth round, uh, in the second match. But I doubt it was fatal, cause the lifelink guy was just um, impossible to handle. Is it better to have a plummet than to have Farseek? Hmm. Or Titanic growth. Too late. This looks bad, really, but it is my starting hand. And I will live with it. It really needs another swamp. Uh, War Clamp Mastiff. If it gets that ring again, I'm in trouble. But now at least I have murder, and I have to make murder count. Hope he doesn't. I curve like a boss, and he didn't. I play Servant on Ephorox. But I'm flooding again. Now I have nothing. But as does he! He doesn't have anything. But he will find something. So not yet. Whereas I actually find something. I must block here. Firewing Phoenix. I'm gonna have to kill it. But 
but he already had the mana to recover it. But it has to die. At least he can't recast it this turn. But, oh what the f... Oh my god. That's interesting. Plummet would be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? He's not blocking this. And I have to cast Revelation for two next turn, but what do I get? Because Plummet is not in the deck. Wow, all those plumbers, they sure would have been useful now. Okay, I got to do it. I got to get two cards. But it won't be enough. He has 27 cards left. He kills me in uh, three tur two turns. So I need to be defensive, I can't get Sands, even though Sands is a 3 turn kill. Essence Drain Drag Task. Deadly Recluse Drag Task. But he'll just block the drag task with the Firewing Phoenix. Uh, Harbor Bandit should be good, but I still need to stop him. Is it Deadly Recluse drag task? That's not the road to victory. But I think I have to go for it. Anyway. Well, that is a critical point in the game. And of course he has the pacifists. So I should have gone for the... Uh, um, should have gone for the um, essence drain, but I, I don't have time to cast it. I'm so dead. And I lost it. Did the mistake matter in the second duel? Because I'm sick to my stomach if I die because of a stupid play mistake. So this is 8 mana, that's enough for the Recluse and for Trag Tusk. Um, and all he needs to do is to pacify or not, well we have to play the Trag Tusk, otherwise we are dead. And we have to play the Deadly Recluse. But his remaining cards, is, if it is one pacifist and a creature, we are dead. Actually, he only needs one pacifist. And he's ha he has it. And the dream is over. 
But he doesn't attack with both. He doesn't attack with everything. Oh, of course, I have 10 lives. So there is a remote chance of something. But of what? And here we see the the my inability to remove enchantments uh, kills me here. If I had acidic slime naturalize anything, so seven damage. I don't know what I'm representing here, but um, a murder could stop him here, but of course he will attack with the Sarah Angel. And I'm just dead. Sad really, I thought I could do better than 2-3 with this deck, but I couldn't, and thus I received no prize. But, we did achieve the goal, we did make the Mox preliminary final. And uh, the result was pretty much the same as the other two times I have reached the mocks. No prize, because I'm not good enough yet. But I have to put in more practice and train and try to analyze these videos. What did I do wrong? Why did I lose here? Except for the mistake in the second round of this match. But so, thus the cookie crumbles. Thank you for watching Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Dan. Also, big thank you for all your support in making it here to the mocks. I will treasure my savanna, because that's all I got out of this. And I probably spent about 80 tickets playing limited tournaments. So uh, it's a pretty rotten deal. Uh, if Temporal Fisher is banned, or Cloudpost is banned uh, on Monday, I might make a run for it in May. I have not yet decided, but if Temporal Fish is still around, I still can't play Momir, I still can't play Modern. So I'm out and my next attempt will probably be in September or October. Thank you for taking this trip with me and once again thank you all for your support as I end up 3-3 or really 2-3 in this MOX preliminary final.